What's going on guys? My name is Green Blob Dude and today I have something special that you guys will want to know what it is and uh, and watch me you know unbox it and put it together so uh, and it's sort of a tutorial it's not really unboxing it's also a tutorial about this if you want to go get this it was like 13 14 dollars on Amazon and I had Prime so I got it in two days which is pretty nice uh, so Let's get into it. So you already know what it is. It's a golden controller. Hopefully it's as good as it sounds and reflection and stuff. I'm going to get my pen I have right here. I'm going to open this up if you want to see right there. Uh. So, uh, got some little poppers <laughs> and here it is. Like golden Xbox One remote. I don't know if you can see that right there. You can. It's pretty sick. Oh, I'll throw this box over there. Oh. Yeah. Boy. Oh. Uh, oh. It, even, it comes with the screws. Oh. Oh. I thought I needed a screwdriver. Sorry. That had this little drill bit on there. And it's actually pretty small of a drill bit, if you can see, which this one's so much smaller, and it probably, oh, it probably works. Uh, I love the place that I got it from on Amazon, uh, which, if you don't know, I buy almost everything from Amazon. Uh, so, like I said in my last, in basically all of my videos, if you want to go check this out and buy one for yourself for like $14, you can guys and it comes with all the little tools and stuff that you need that is so sick it comes with a little rubber band that says super target oh that's so cool i'm gonna wear that right now you know what yeah i'm gonna wear that as i'm building this little rubber band super target yeah okay so here are little screws i don't know what those screws are for uh so this little screwdriver just made my day because I don't have one. Like, I only have one, but it's not a screwdriver. It's more of a drill bit, and I put it on a drill. It's not even mine. It's my stepfather's. I'm trying not to scratch this, but, uh, yeah, let's open this up, and then I'll show you how to install it. So that right there, this shell, that is so sexy. You see the shine on it? Shine of me looking at my camera, looking to see if I'm aiming it right. That is so cool. Oh, that is so nice. So nice. I'm not gonna be able to use this though because I don't have a I don't have batteries. I use a battery pack, a charger. So I will not be able to use that back uh, of it. Here are the little parts. Uh, so these are just the parts. I'm gonna put these aside and uh, screws too. Uh, screwdriver I don't need right now. But this you will need and your 360 controller, or sorry, 360, Xbox One controller. And you want to open that up. And take the, I have, like I said, battery pack, so I'll just have that on. So it'll be gold and black, which will be nice. Okay, now, so, <clears throat> like how I switch the angles? Yeah, I do that a lot. So what you want to do is basically take off these sides, which will be a pain. You're going to want to get your like nails if you have any down in there deep. I don't know. I'll, I'll sometimes use the screw uh, screwdriver once I get in there to like wedge, as you see right here, wedge it open or ply it open. I don't know, whatever. If you hear it cracking, that's okay. It's not breaking. Like you might think it's breaking, which is what I thought. Like that, you probably thought it broke, which I kind of did again for the second time. It didn't. It just comes apart. It sounds like that, so I'm pretty sure. So they make you think you're if you're gonna break it, and so you don't, because they really hid these in here. Uh, now just you know, use force and open it up. Ah. Okay, uh, these parts are going to go over there. Now, for the fun sort of part, unscrewing all these. Now, there's going to be a sticker right here where your battery pack was. To unscrew it, 
uh, just rip that sticker off. It probably, you know, takes away your warranty, but also unscrewing this whole thing, you know, takes away your warranty of uh, if it breaks or anything. So just don't mess it up or break it. Uh, I would advise having two controllers. This is my second one. My other one has the Black Ops 3 sticker and stuff like that. So I'm just going to keep that on, and I'm just going to put the gold one on here and use this one from now. And my uh, whoever comes over could use the other one. So this one all oh, fits nice, nice in here. Um, okay guys, I just want to give a quick warning that if you're doing, like, if you're unscrewing the controller, um, make sure that you, that you drop all of the screws out onto the table, because if one of the screws hits the little magnet part on the trigger, uh, it will mess everything up, like, that's what happened to me, it, like, fell into the cracks and went and hit the trigger, uh, there's, like, a little magnet on each trigger, and basically, once that magnet gets touched by other mag like metal things like a screw or if you're using uh, one of those magnetic screwdrivers where if you're using the magnetic and you take the screw out and it's on the screw the magnetic screwdriver if you touch that uh, against the um, magnet on the trigger it will fry sort of like the triggers then when you try playing like Call of Duty or any other game uh, whenever you play, it will think that you're holding down the triggers because there's like a system malfunction and uh, it's just, you would have to, if you have a warranty, try uh, getting it replaced, but mine has been over a year uh, that I had that, so now I have to go to GameStop and I have to see if they could fix it, if not, then I'll sell it to them or trade it in or, or do something. Uh, hopefully it'll trade it in. If not, then I just have a messed up controller that I can either find out how to fix, which there's probably nothing on, or, you know, just throw it away, whatever. And I am buying an Elite controller soon. Uh, I actually will have the unboxing. I'm going to buy it in about a month or so. Once I get a car, then I'll just drive to the store and get it because uh, my mother would kind of be uh, mad if I just buy it with my uh, credit card, so I'm not going to do that. I have the money and stuff, I'm just going to buy it later uh, in about a month or so. Um, I'm actually thinking either that or a modded controller, because that's sort of like a modded controller, but it has scuffs. It's just a, an awesome controller with scuffs and stuff, which scuffs do cost a lot. Uh, so I, I might I might get that. Uh, so yeah, uh, I will give a little review at the end of the video, and enjoy uh, me do, uh, putting it back. And you're gonna want to have this screw if you also if you bought this and you it didn't come with the screw because you bought it from somewhere else. I would advise getting the screw. Don't try using any other screw besides this one that looks like that. I don't know if you can see it, um, because you'll just strip the the screw. And if you strip the screw, then you won't be able to unscrew it out at all. So that would suck. And I would put these in a safe place. I'm just gonna put them in the little handles that I have over there because I don't have anything else. And there's four of them. There's one in the back. There is one right here. For some reason, that one doesn't want to come out. But there's another one on the other side, same area. I'll just take that other one off when I uh, undo all of these, take it apart, basically. And then there's another one down here. I don't know if you can see that right, right there. I'm trying to uh, unscrew this and look at the camera at the same time, or my phone, to see where it is at so I could unscrew. I know this is a long video, but guys, it will be worth it to stay to the end and watch it. Or you could just skip through, it doesn't matter. If you already know how to unscrew this, then uh, just skip through. I don't care. I actually fast forward through all this anyway. So now since I unscrewed both of them and the screws are just popping out, so make sure you have like a collection plate or something, and this one still wants to be in there for some reason. Oh, there we go. I'm just gonna take this off carefully, not ripping off the joysticks like this, and then you have your little plate, which that is. Put that right there. Hopefully it uh the same size. This is what the inside looks like, you guys. And now I'm getting this little screw out. There we go. That's out. Uh, I mean, you could take these out, I would say, because it is a little heavy with them, but I would just keep them in. Don't touch them. 
um, and yeah, just don't touch them. So, I don't even, oh, I think there's screws in here that I need to take out. I believe there is screws in here. I don't want to take these buttons out. I, I will try. Oh, I could just take the back right out. Okay. I did not know that. I was, uh, this is mostly somewhat the first time I'm doing this. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to put, like, the motherboard and stuff in here and just hit the triggers so they slide into place. So now everything fits. Fits in. Good. Just like that. I just realized uh, that you need to take this off. So just pull this out. Because these were uh, already put on. So you just want to apply these out again using the tools that we use. Try not to scratch it like I almost did. the other side too. Oh, some stuff did break. That's uh that's okay. I guess. I mean, we probably don't need that. <laughs> Hopefully. I'm looking, I'm like, where? Oh, there's some, yeah, at the bottom that broke. Oh, yeah, whatever, there's still more. Okay, now, now you put in the hard drive. Or, I mean the hardware, the motherboard, whatever you want to call it. Plug that in so you can see that there. And uh, like I said before, the triggers. So then the triggers fit in both ends. Push it in nice and tightly. And then you want to put in the cover. You want to slide that in there. Slide it in, just make sure it's nice and snug. feel all around. Then once it's once it's on, you want to flip it around and get a screw and put the screw in the back which you need to take out. This is pretty nice. I have to say this is just a oh yeah you put the batteries in there. It's a nice cover. This will actually be nice with just the black and gold without like the buttons and everything, but I'll try out the buttons as well. And uh, you want to put this in here, but with the back on it, it will also bring out the nice black and gold, which actually was my old school's uh, colors were black and gold, but now I moved to a different school, so it's not that anymore. And I think it's red and it's red and white. So you just want to screw this in now. Sure, it's going all in. Tightly, though. Tightly, but not too tight. You want to make sure you're holding the front and back so it doesn't unscrew. And if you screw it in tightly, but not too tight to break it, just tight. Like that's good. It's keep it keeps going, but that's good. And uh, you want to put in the rest of the four screws, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, well, it seems I've been missing a screw, so I'm going to see if these little screws that they come with will work. 
Just one. This one is all I need. Is there for now? It'll keep it in place a little bit. I expect my phone to uh, drop like that. So let me just place these on now. This one goes here. So now since I pried it apart again and this broke right there, uh, I'm gonna attempt to put it on again. Uh, since it broke so many times, hopefully it gets to latch on. Oh, it did, it latched on this time. Awesome, that's nice. Okay, so here's my gold controller. Uh, it's pretty nice. Uh, the Instead of it being all gold, I like how uh, the black makes it so it's not so shiny and so gold. You know, it's it's black and gold, which is really nice. I like this. So guys, basically a review for it, I would, a one out of, I mean, out of ten, I would give this two. Two at the most. I, I'm sorry, but that that is bad I'm actually consider returning it I'm probably gonna take it apart tonight and return it uh, because I don't know it just it sucks they don't they give you the right screwdriver in order to open it up but in order to take the motherboard out they give you a screwdriver but that's not the screwdriver to work that's a flathead you need a smaller screwdriver uh, just to get that open so they don't apply uh, screwdrivers with it or the the right screwdriver they do apply one not the other um painted on sort of silvery so it's starting to scratch off on the side for some reason and you could see the silver um so i just i bought a silver uh controller that has like a gold to it uh and you know you can't really put any buttons in like i said because there's no screwdriver the right screwdriver in order to open the other one up because it's not the same screwdriver it's a different one so they don't play with that uh it's just very cheap uh very, i mean yeah it was like 14 dollars like that's pretty cheap but like i said i'm i'm just going to buy like a modded controller or uh probably an elite controller and then later on when i have some more money i'll buy a modded controller i don't really need a modded controller i'm already good at it as is I, I don't need mods to uh to excel and like i had one for the 360 and that was just annoying when i was trying to play legit and i would just have like a mod would just turn on i'd be like no i want to turn this off so i'm just gonna get an elite controller with uh the scuffs in the back which are pretty nice I think scuffs are like 200, but a lead controller is like 150. It might be 130 for a scuff, something like that. I don't know. I'm probably going to just buy another controller with a cool design. It doesn't even have to have uh, mods on it. I'll just buy a nice, cool looking instead of the matte black. Um, but yeah, overall, that's just stupid. I'll, I'll paint it myself. Like I'd rather paint the uh, controller myself than do that. But... Last time I painted a 360, uh, when I painted my 360 controller, I forgot to use the plastic paint, and I used like just a regular paint for the wall, and so it got really sticky, and uh, it was like coming off, and it just I had to uh, throw my controller away because the shell was just ruined. Uh, but yeah, I'm just gonna return now. I also have like a Black Ops 3 wallet. I'm gonna return because that's small and there's like cardboard in the middle and I don't like it. I'd rather have the wallet that I have right now that I don't actually have on me. Uh, so that was a review. It was pretty horrible. Uh, I would not recommend getting this unless you just want to have that for looks. I want to have it for like feel and, su and stuff but it's just bad as it is. Uh, unless you have the screwdriver to get the, uh, the motherboard out but I don't have one and I don't really feel like buying one just to do that. I don't want to mess up my first controller as it is. I want to at least play. So I'm just going to take it apart now and then package it up and ship it in a couple days. Uh, hopefully get my uh, $14 back and I'll just buy like a phone case or something like that. Yeah, so thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you didn't, that's okay. I didn't enjoy this video either. It was pretty long, edited, took a while. I even debated not even making this because what's the point? But I just want to let you guys know how bad that controller sucked or the controller case. Um, you know, so that's why I'm making this video. So until next time, guys, this is your Breaking Blob Dude, and I'm out. Peace. Let's go.